What's up guys? What a day. It's a rough morning. It started out pretty good. I was getting ready to uh, buy some food, go to the panaderia, the bodega, you know, getting ready for 4th of July. You already know. And then it happened. Just like it happened last time. It was a peaceful morning. We weren't expecting anything. And then, just like last time, it happened. Japan attacked us. Yeah, it was a surprise attack, yo. Yeah, but this time, though, to our wallets, everybody. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. All jokes aside, though, everyone that bought Negrishis, everyone that bought Viaras, I mean, rest in peace. Rest in rip. Rip in peace to your wallet, bro. Um, I got my Viaras from the, first, from the same person whom I gave uh, Dani Lazas to, so... We're kind of even there, but um, I'm going to make a separate video about how to avoid. Um, I mean, it's hard to avoid buying SRs and then having them banned. I mean, that sucks. I get that. But there's ways you can avoid that, obviously. Like, if you do care about spending your money on the game. And I do want to make a separate video about it. But this is the deck I'm running now. Post-ban. Um... I'm putting the boo pieces down to two just to try it out for now. Um, obviously, I have the two drop at four of. Um, Malicious Mimicry was in the deck in the first uh, version of it. When I first built Vegex, was on reveal, and I was running boo chain before Universe 3 anyway. And I had a Malicious Mimicry, but the same day I did that, I took it out. Because I just thought, like, I'm always seeing the boo chain anyway. Um... Malicious Mimicry is weird because it, it's more expensive, but it, you can do it from the drop. And I never had a problem doing the boot chain without it because it's so cheap. Like, turn 3, I could, like, Krillin into Trunks, into two Pepperonis, into, like, boot chain for one energy. So it's, like, three energy for, like, a million attacks. So, Malicious Mimicry is more expensive, but it's in the drop. We'll see how it goes. I'll test both and see which one I like better. Um... I, I know that there's a few cards in here that are to answer decks that just got better. Um, Demonic Absorption at 2 to answer Invoker. And uh, 4 Negates. Uh, 2 Power Burst and 2 Not Even a Scratch for draw power. And to get the Goku Adventure Begins from the Warp or Drop, which we're playing at 4 of the Gokus. Um, we did add a small skillless package for the Goku at 2 four star balls for hand control um but a lot of people are running the the, the ss2 masked xeno vegeta the three drop deflect that brings out another mass saiyan vegeta i don't like that it's a four energy play i can do things a lot cheaper remember boo chain is one energy if you use the bobbity um so this is the deck the deck list is down below let me know what your ideas are um, because everyone in the group always comes up with some great spice, some great jack, and I'm always impressed because we have a really cool community, man. We're building something great here where, uh, we're helping each other out, and I really do like that. Um, if you're a new player and you need basic help, DM me if you don't want to put it on the page. If you're an experienced player that have, you have a real question about, DM me as well, or post it on the page. We got y'all. Um, anyone saying that Vegex is dead? They're asleep. Don't wake them up. It's a little too early for them. Don't wake them up. Um, Vegix is not dead. I, even calling it a mid-range deck, like I said, is just wrong. Just because I added negates. I mean, like, bro, it's still going to swing at you 20 times turn 3. Like, I don't know. It's still crazy. It's still a really good deck. And this is how I would run it. Um, yeah. Just... You three not being there anymore, make it a little less good, I guess, sure. Um, but it's good for the game. Vegito was trash because it couldn't beat Vegex. Tawa couldn't go above that, and those two decks just got so much better now. Um, and Vegex is still great. Um, this is still my competitive deck. Um, I don't think everything has to be so black and white, guys. Like, people were saying, like, yo, God, Angel, Coochie isn't as good as Vagex. Or like other people were saying some other crazy shit. Like, like yo, I would send my grandparents to like a second Holocaust before I play Vagex again. That deck is trash. Like, yo, it's like, chill. 
Like, it's not trash. It's not tier zero. I was beating it with King Vegeta. Oh, is this thing... Can y'all hear me? King Vegeta. I beat it with King... I beat it with the Red Expansion... Red Vegeta leader. Like, it wasn't unbeatable. And it wasn't trash. It swung, like, 30 times turn three, bro. Like, um... It's okay to be in the middle. <laughs> like... Uh, but yeah, was it too oppressive? I think so. The The game just became a lot wider. You have a lot more choices, and that's cool. But Vegex ain't dead. That's certain right now. Um, any deck with a unison that good that can close out the games cannot be dead. Because the, the game is going to move in a direction where unisons are what's winning the games. And that's what this deck can still do. Um, the boot chain is just going to overperform just like it always did. You're going to be able to take them down to a certain life, such as like 4 or 3, just like you always did. You're going to use the Kid Goku engine, the skillless engine. If you guys have a different idea, please let me know. Yeah, I'm not... I'm never stubborn about my builds, but I do test them. I do everything I do, I test hundreds of times. If it's my major deck, I've, I've played Vagex a million times. So like, I, I have proof, I have data, I test online, I test in tournaments. But, if you have something else, let me know. I'm always open ears, like, I'm always here to listen. I have the, uh, I like the Further Destruction Champa, because it gives lethal to very small cards. Like, I can literally swing with, like, the one-drop E Supreme Kai of time. <laughs> I know it's weird, but then you add a Babidi to it, and now it's, like, I don't know, 40k double strike. Um, so, look at the list. It's not final. None of my lists are ever final. In fact, every deck I run had like 12 negates because it was to beat Vegex. And my old Vegex deck had zero negates. You know what I mean? Like, I always build either the best deck in the game or something that could beat it. Um, all my decks had topo, bro. I was running red in every deck. So, that's going to change a little bit now. Um, and every time I change a deck, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, yeah, let me see what you guys think about it. Go to the uh, comments, post your decks. Let me see what you guys uh, think about it. Again, it's in the description below. Um, this deck is amazing. I think Vegex. This is Vegex, like, I've built so many Vegex decks. This is Vegex, like, 13.5 after ban 1.0. Like, this is Vegex. <laughs> After ban, like, this is Vegex 1 AB. <laughs> so this is the first build after the ban. Let me know what you guys think. Let's help each other out. We're a great community. I'm really proud of everybody. We're a really tight group. That's what we're trying to do here. I want a wholesome, tight group. We're like a team. Let's help each other out. Help me out. Clearly I need some help running uh, two demonic absorptions in here, so... Uh, hit me up what you guys think. I'm going to do some gameplay. And uh, let's make Vegeta great again, y'all. I think we've been doing that lately. But let's keep doing it. And I'll see you guys next time.